Okay, Mario once again, here in Medellin, Colombia, pondering. And I just wanted to say something, uh, and maybe it's important and maybe it's not. But I want to point out the actual reality of the experience of doing internet television. Now, let me explain something. When Victor Allen and I defined this, and we feel like we are the ones who defined it, because this was a discussion that was going on around, the major media producers just thought they could take their same old shit and stick it on the internet and call that internet television. That's never what we, ever what we've called internet television. What we said about internet television is that internet television is unique because it also includes, by definition, a two-way communication between the people producing and the people watching. Okay, that's the, that's the first thing. It's an interactive experience. We also said that internet television consists of the conversations that occur around the watching of the video. In other words, like your virtual living room, all that chat and comments and all that stuff and interaction and feeling and reflections on what you do, that to us is internet television. So I got a bunch of people who just really, really, uh, Make it for me. And it's important to understand because in doing this, we forget the impact that you have on us. See, I'm, I'm, I'm making a big deal out of this, this. This is part of my journey, you guys. This is part of the story. Part of the story is the effect you guys have on me as I attempt to do this stuff. This is the journey. It's my life. It's me trying to do things better and being open about a bunch of stuff, like being a recluse for damn near 20 years, hiding out and doing all kinds of shit, and my issues with depression, my wonderful life as a as an emergency critical care pediatrician where I was a master of the midnight to morning ER experience in pediatrics, where I practiced loving medicine for 30 years. I did. Really loved my medical career. But I'm looking at the people who make a difference, like Miranda Jante, who is, is Mar his, who just goes on posting. She lives a life that's fantastic, caring for animals, a playwright, and a totally inspiring person. I met her on Facebook, on Facebook. And then there's the people who, who bring me kindness on a daily basis, you know? The people who write me, like Sam Bowers, you know, Greg Gale. Okay, how about all the other people, Delia, you know, PMC, Phil Cuspert, okay? There's a bunch of Brenda Stacer. I'm just trying to go down the, the little list because there's so many of you guys. You affect me, okay? You affect me, okay? Where's Dinah? Where's, okay, excuse me. Where's Deborah Washington? There she is. There she is. Beverly Norris. Where she is, Okay. All these people, I'm going to be forgetting people and I'm going to feel bad because I'm trying to scroll down. You know, like I got senior moments. I'm trying to scroll down Facebook and, and point out people. But, you know, Pete Peterson. Okay, come on now. Yo, communicate with me. Cassie Ganey. Okay, I tell people I got my own support team. I got my street team. I even got my groupies. I even got my groupies. A bunch of them over 50. <laughs> Hey, Mark Bradford. Oh, come on. Okay, Kelly and Munoz. Okay, I'm just gonna try to. I'm just trying to scroll down and look at the people who respond and who com communicate with me. I know I'm missing people. Omari, see. Let me see. There's so many people who are part of my world. Terrence Robinson, one of my good friends. I've been the See, my depression has me hiding from people still, but I'm gonna confront it. I'm gonna confront it this year. I'm gonna confront it. Ray Barra, you know. So you all get to see me struggle with this journey. The, the idea is that maybe some of the things I go through will help you with your journey. That was the idea. I'm a writer, I'm a storyteller. I intend to live and share my interactions that you guys bring to me. So I just wanna, Bring all these these people. I wish I could see. I'm trying to scroll. Hamza. Q Mohammed. My buddy Jesse from Howard. Okay, I'm just saying. All of them. 
all of them. As I said, it's really wonderful. And uh, just my family too. You know my family too. My Uncle Howard, all my family in Philly, New York. All my family, all the friends, they all tripping. All y'all tripping off of me. I know you are, but that's okay. That's the point. Isn't that the point? My Uncle Howard, see, he's the, the really smart one and the writer too. See, I think he will be looking at me going, okay, I'm starting to understand you, nephew. I'm starting to understand you, you nephew. Because these are the people. Calvin Stillwell, Dana Asseltine. Okay, Dana, what a, you know, Dana was one of the, my joys at the work. You know, it's, Dana is a person, I interact with her as a co-worker and also with her son. And she is a ray of light who always has kind words for me. Always, always. Beth Nasca always has kind words for me. A bunch of my co-workers, a bunch of you guys, I had a wonderful relationship with my nursing staff for all those years. Wonderful. So anyway, I just wanted everybody to say this morning, because I'm looking at all the stuff. Thank you, my, my cousin Thornton, for getting me through the day-to-day. -day. Jerry Andrews always staying on me. <laughs> Enjoy you, Jerry. Enjoy you, Jerry. George Arterberry. <laughs> Don't even get me started on George. See, George was there for a lot of the dirt back in the day. George Arterberry. And it's so nice to have you, George. I can't even begin to tell you how nice it is to have you. Know that, brother. Know that. It's nice. It's nice, man. It's nice. It's nice. Leland Darnell Porter, you know, and his wonderful wife. I see people, and they're you look at them, and they're inspiring. My buddy Bobby Carson, Renee, and her wonderful husband David. Anyway, I could go down this list. It's, I'm trying to go scroll down the list. Myra Sc Scobo. You know, thank you so much, Deanna Hodges. Oh, man, my cousin Debbie. I'm uh, just saying. This is the joy of an intelligence. Now, I'm going to try to actually do a really Anthony Bourdain-style production about this Medellin trip. I am. That means I got to sit down and do some work, some typing, some writing. I got to do some work. I got to do a whole bunch of things. That's what I said, but I'm loving this journey. 66, revitalized, Mario Hemsley. And I'm going to, as I go through this, I'm going to attempt to do better at acknowledging the people who make me feel good. I tried to name some of you guys. You're the ones who make me feel good. So when I get fueled and I get the energy in my heart to continue, these are the people who are providing that for me. It is never forgotten. Always appreciate it. Mario.